welcome to Medis Texaco. First of all, I want to really um, say sorry that um, it hasn't been some time since my last video, but now I'm back here and we want to talk about the Galaxy Beta program, how to sign in and um, where, how you can participate and when I think the beta will start. So it's early November to be, um, to be exact, it's the 4th November today. And um, I think the beta will start or will be announced between September, uh, sorry, not September, between the 7th November and the 8th November. Why? Because in this time, the Samsung Developer Conference takes place in San Francisco. But this is not my only uh, thought on how or when the beta might start, because I look back on articles where they announced the beta for the Galaxy S7 back in 2016 and when they announced the beta for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus back in November 2017. So I looked at the date when they have announced it and I saw, okay, November 2, uh, November 2nd. Then I went to my calendar, so this calendar is on German, but don't worry, um, yeah, that's not a problem. Then I... I Look back on in the year 2017, November the 2nd was on the first day. I, I thought, okay, they launched it on the first day, could be a random choice. Then I I went back, uh, first I looked here, okay, November 10th, this article was published here for the beta program for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Then I went back to the year 2016 and I looked for the 10th November and I saw, hmm, okay, November 10th was also a first day. Then I scrolled back, sorry guys, um, I, I scrolled down here and I have, I have saw or noticed that starting on November 9th, so maybe a day ago it was already available on the server and available for signing up, you know, so I, I looked and that was a Wednesday. So um, in my opinion or in my, my thoughts are that we may get um, or when we should get the beta is around a Wednesday and a Thursday. So when this is a hint for yeah when in the week the beta could start. So okay, the thing is this developer conference takes place between, as I said before, the 7th and 8th November which is also surprisingly a Wednesday and a Thursday. So it would not be a better um, moment to release a beta program while they are um, talking about software and so on. And releasing then a beta for their customers won't, yeah, won't fit better than on another day, in my opinion. Another hint is... When we take a look at this firmware over the air server here, um, this here, which you can see under latest, so this is for the SMG965F, the Exynos model, Germany unlocked, but also on the UK firmware server, on every um, server which has this multi CSC uh, OXM, um, this firmware is the latest one, and this one has the ending ZRK1. This means this is an official beta firmware. Why? Because this Z stands always for the beta firmware Samsung releases during their beta program. So um, the thing is, the server is here since uh, first day last week. So since the 1st November. Uh, and normally on this test server, so th this year shows unreleased firmwares of course there's also a server where you can see the official um, published firmware where you will or uh, was able to download it or uh, over your device um, but normally or usually the firmware always changes uh, maybe second uh, two times a day or sometimes a little bit more but since the first November this firmware is still here which can mean that, or uh, which can be a hint that this server, uh, sorry, that this firmware is pretty stable, so stable enough to roll it out to many people who want to participate into the beta or uh, in the beta program, 
And yeah, that's a good sign, I think. The next thing is, um, around one month ago, we have seen the first leaked um, Android Pi firmware, but uh, unfortunate, unfortunately not for us Exynos users, just for the Snapdragon users in the US. Um, and since then, the firmware really rapidly changed. It got more stable, the UI looked more finished. So if you have seen a video of an early build, of an alpha build, which was the first leaked uh, Pi firmware, um, you have seen this night mode with white cards and that just looked ugly. And now it looked really polished and almost finished or finished, I think. Um, now the firmware looks really good, what I have seen in some videos and screenshots. And um, I've looked up on the server for the unlocked um, US models. And here we have also a firmware, not a Z firmware. But if we search for a Z firmware, which we have had, or I showed you ago, um, on the European German unlocked server, you will see also that they have here the ZRK1 firmware listed. But the current one here is the CRJB, which you can also download over Firmware Science, a website which makes the uh, leaked firmware available for download, um, is also there available. And I have read in a forum on XDA that some users uh, say that the CRJB build is really um, stable, it's pretty stable. Um, maybe for some users the battery drains a little bit more than on a previous build. But um, this here is, I think, also close to um, finished for the beta program. And yeah, I don't know if this will be the film where they will release. I don't think so. I think they will also release one with the Z um, in, in the firmware name. But this firmware is also there since maybe not as long as the ZRK1 firmware on the European servers. But this here is there since I think maybe um, maybe two days ago. So yeah, that shows us that, I don't know, maybe this firmware is also um, ready to be to be uh, released or they will change it um, or replace it with another one on Monday, so tomorrow or on um, Tuesday, we don't know. But yeah, that should be it. So these are just my thoughts when it should start. And... Uh, I'm pretty confident that it uh, will take place in the upcoming week during the developer conference, maybe earlier. It could be that um, this, um, that in the past they have released it on Wednesday and Thursday and now it will be released tomorrow or uh, in two days. We don't know. Maybe they will change much. For example, in the beta for the S7, the beta was just available in the UK, in the US, in South Korea, and uh, one week later in China. Then with the S8 beta, they made in the second phase, so I think two weeks after the initial release, they made it available for countries like Germany, France, Spain, India, and I don't know, some much more countries than in the first, in the beta from the S7. And um, now it could be that much more countries will get it directly and not in a phase, you know. So uh, maybe this time the beta will include countries uh, which were in the second phase with the Galaxy S8 beta. They are now also in the initial release, so we don't know. And how you will be able to install, that's pretty easy. Depending on where you live, for example, users in the US, they use the Samsung Plus app and we in the um, European countries or on the rest of the world, we use the Samsung Members app. That's, uh, these apps are almost the same. There you can get support. You can enter the uh, Samsung um, community. Um, and yeah, you can read, read news about uh, Samsung products. You can get rewards um, and, and much more things like this. And when the beta will be announced, you will see or get a notification on the app, in the app. And um, yeah, 
Then you will sign in. So um, you have a text with information about it, like this text here, which tells you some things about the beta program. Then you will register over your Samsung account. Um, also, you have um, to make sure, I think, to have a SIM card in your phone to be able to download the beta. And um, after the registration process, you might wait some seconds or minutes uh, that has to do on if the server is uh, lagging behind. And then you just go into the settings under, under software update, you search for update and you should then get the ability to download and install the latest uh, Pi firmware beta, for example, here for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. And then you will automatically get when they release a new beta because there just won't be just one. There will be maybe four different betas where they always will change things depending on the feedback of the customers and improve many things before it goes final. When the final Pi build is then released, uh, you will also get an update which will wait around maybe 400, 500 or 600 megabyte. And then you will just download it and boom, you are then on the official Pi firmware and you don't have to wait or you don't have to basically to then go back to Oreo and wait for the official one. You just you just stay on uh, on what you are running on. Okay, so um, that were some information. Of course, here on Medi Stack Circle, I will um, update you as soon as the beta starts. And also, I will make a series of videos when finally, finally, we will get the Pi beta because it will get an overhaul new user interface with a lot of features. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, I'm excited about this new beta, which will come. And um, I think everyone else here watching this video is pretty excited about it. So that's it. Um, I, I say um, goodbye, have a great day and uh, see you on the next one.